YouTube, what's good? What's going on? Child support Echo 3 at the hip back here with another video. Today we're gonna to be reacting to when child predators realize they've been found by a doctor insanity. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. But yeah, let's get into it. Predators are some of the most disgusting and terrifying criminals out there. But what uh, happens when they finally get caught in the act and face the punishment they deserve? Can you show me that he's only 17? I can put you in handcuffs and throw you in the back of a car. Here are four spine-chilling reactions from sinister realizing they've been caught, starting with the most shocking of all. In March of 2017, a father contacted the Moore Police Department about his 17-year-old son. He revealed that his son had checked into the Super 8 motel and he was worried about him. So the police went to check on him. He's either here for narcotics or prostitution for narcotics. The fact that you Kids wanted to prosecute mean prostitute kids for drugs is kind of crazy he's not kind of crazy it's fucked up what if that was your kid what if that was your kid standing on the corner or going online to a website going outside to a website me going on a website like ebay or craigslist or something like that and they you know old ass nigga coming or young ass nigga, they come in all shapes and sizes. Fuck all these predators. Um, come and try to take your kid away for some drugs. That's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. That's strong. Hey, let's go open up the door so we can talk to you. I would have booked, I would have booked the fucking door open. Right? What? Could what? I ask why? Yeah, because you have a juvenile. My nigga, did you just say for why? You got a fucking kid in there, my nigga. Dumb fuck. In your hotel room. Okay, open the door. We'll talk to you real quick and we'll be done. Come out. Right. Come out, I'm, I'm out yeah. before you get me worried. I would, I would be like, yo, get the fuck out now. Get your shit, you pervert. Get the fuck out here now. I'm, I'm, Show me your hands. Okay. Take a seat on the. What's, what's going on, like, what's going on with you, man? Your dumb ass up. Trying to have a good time. Yeah. A good time for a fucking chopping. What's your name? Ass nigga. Ralph. Ralph what? Shorty. You got an ID, Shorty? I'm sorry. Shorty doesn't sound like a last name to me. I'm sorry, guys. You're kind of freaking out a little bit. Yeah, that's what we do. And yeah, yeah, that's exactly what they do. Especially for predators. You about to freak your kid out. Now you got the cops freaking you out. How you, how, how does it feel? He's 17. Okay. What do you mean, okay? Okay. What whatever you're doing, exactly what it's a bad you. idea. If he was a couple years younger, you'd be going to prison. At that time, the officer had no idea he was this dealing with like 35. Prison. If the if the kid if the child was under the age of set of 18, if the person was under the age of 18, that nigga should go still should go to prison. Five-year-old Senator Ralph Shorty, a Republican wow. from the Oklahoma Senate. What pulls? You're supposed to protect. You're supposed to speak for the people of your state. In this, in the Senate, in your state Senate. Are you going around fucking kids, nigga? What the fuck is wrong with you? Everyone was trying to understand why Shorty with was with a teenager nigga. inside oh, a motel nigga. in the middle of the night. And a few days later, they were both brought in and questioned Monsters. separately. Monsters. What followed Monsters. in the interrogation was extremely oh, disturbing. Matter of fact, he's trying to recall some conversation on his tablet that uh, he says is with the guy. That's you. That's you. Is it online or the kick? Kick ID is Jamie Tilly. He calls me Jamie, uh -huh. and I'm not sure why. He says, I need money for spring break. Uh, Jamie Tilly says, I don't uh, really have any legitimate things I need help with right now. Would you be interested in stuff? He says, yes. He's Morning, telling me master. that when he first met you through Craigslist, that you that he had posted an ad in Casual Encounters, and that he had a lot of responses for it, but that you said that you wanted him to mess around with your wife while you watched. And then said that it never happened because she was pregnant. What the fuck? So here's the deal, Ralph. You and I both know what the truth is, and the truth is not what you're telling us. I'm like, 
But here's the thing, bitch ass motherfucker. You're fucked. Okay, for trying to meet another meet an underage human. You're fucked. Not only you're fucked, you're fucked in prison. They don't like people like you in prison for real. I've heard stories about predators in prison. I've heard lots of stories. It's not me. It's not you. Okay. We communicated by phone. There was no intention that night. Shorty denies that he was Jamie Tilly on Craigslist and didn't have any online. You're fucking slow, bro. Bro, 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 bro. You know, you knew exactly what the fuck you was there for, one. And two, stop lying to fucking cops, my nigga. It's only going to make your situation a lot worse. I promise you, I'm keeping it 150000 with you. You fat fuck. The little, online conversation with the teen Little dick ass nigga. Teenager. However, the police had all the proof they needed. There was even a witness who recalled exactly what happened. Wow. That put you there. When you say I absolutely picked him up. When you say I'm here, the witness is waiting down the street because she thought it was jacked up. She thought it was jacked up that he wouldn't tell her where he was going or anything like that. Nah, she it's girl, not and not you. And then she said he's going to the right now with with you. And then she gets scared and wondering what the heck's going on, so she calls the police or calls his dad, and then who in turn calls us. I mean, we have his device. We have. These are just photos of it. We actually have downloaded the entire device now. So we have You're everything that y'all said that time. Everything. You're yeah. fucked. That's not me. They're clearly you stop lying, man. Bro, bro, stop lying to these cops. They got everything. They got pictures. They got phone calls. They got videos. Whatever you sent to um the child, they got it. You're fucked. Bro, that's a lie. You're lying to us right now. That's clearly you. Stop the bullshit, you. my nigga. With daughter sick, coffee shop. My fault, y'all. But yeah, that's that. That's that bullshit. Hold on. My fault, y'all. Hold on. That's clearly you. No one else. Hundred percent. With daughter sick, coffee shop. I don't know what the fuck's going on. My fault, gang. That's, that, that, Ralph, that's a lie. You're lying to us right now. That's clearly you. Hundred percent. No with daughter sick coffee shop, I'm here and you're there. That's clearly you. I don't know who else he could have been talking to. What Shorty is kept you on denying his actions, dumbass? but the FBI also found that Shorty had been doing this for five years. Oh he my had used God. fake names to send and receive child pornography and go on nah. Craigslist to find these young men. According to Shorty, Fucking the younger, horrible. the better. The legal age That's of consent awesome. in the state of Oklahoma is 16, but under state law, engaging in prostitution with anyone under 18 is charge. illegal. And even though How Senator Shorty legal? claims he didn't know the boy's real age, the police Bullshit. didn't believe him. We're not saying you're a bad guy. We're not saying you said out things. We're not saying that. We're saying, hell, maybe you didn't know how old he was. I don't know. I think you probably did based on what he's telling me. I, I asked him, I said, hey, he he know how old you were. And he said, yeah, man, he knows because we had a discussion about it. And at first he was uncomfortable with it, but then he finally got over it. I know you guys don't believe me, and I'm not going to try to convince you otherwise unless I have something to show Bro, you. Bro, something. He did so got everything. At this point Bro, they have everything. Is that you fuck <laughs> dirty ass, more evidence about big what's ass, STD ass dick. There's nowhere to go from here. There was no way out for Shorty. And in June 2018, Herbert. prosecutors revealed that Shorty has twice with the victim before they were found together oh at the hotel. God. Finally, in September 2018, he was sentenced to a total of 15 years in prison on a child sex trafficking charge and- Should've got more. I would've gave him life. I would've given that nigga life. No, my fact that- hey, Comment down below if you from okay. Tell me if they do the death penalty. If so, I would have given that nigga the death penalty. Give him the good old fashioned shock chair, if you get what I'm saying. And 10 years of supervised release. Now, imagine if the predator is someone everyone is supposed to feel safe around. As a teacher, if you're accused, you're guilty. Stephen Budd was a teacher at Rosarian Elementary School before he got okay. caught and arrested for giving out candy to kids in return. 
Buddy Bud was arrested after two girls told police Bud had exchange, has given them candy in exchange for sexual favors. You suck fuck. According to investigators, Bud had given the victims what he deemed as Bud Bucks, which was payment and candy in exchange for sexual acts. You fucking burn all the burn all favors. Our reward all system the, he likes to, to call Bud Bucks. Bucks. In 2013, two teenage girls came forward and reported. Oh oh. Stephen Bud to the police. One of the victims received the message from Bud on Facebook, which led to the, which led her to tell her parents about the abuse. The act occurred in 2006 when Bud was the girl's fourth grade homeroom teacher at Rosario Academy. The girls who are teens now are, were both nine years old at the time. And reported Stephen to the police. The incidents took place in 2006 when Bud was their homeroom teacher, and the girls were only nine at the time. A few months after the report, he was brought in for interrogation. What, what is your, what is your infatuation with children? Kids, minors, juveniles, whatever you want to call somebody under the age of 18. What is it? What is your, what is your infatuation with them? Like, real shit. Um, no bullshit, no lie. Like, what is your infatuation with ch children? Because you're fucked up. For interrogation. Why do you think it is? Because of all the crap I've been saying today. The girl has been calling me and accusing me. So. Accusing me? Did it? Is. Anything that happened last year or anything that you remember? No. no. This, this was a couple years ago, right? Yeah. How long ago was this? Fourth grade. I'm not sure what she is now. She's high school. Right. So obviously you know the allegation. Yeah. Is. Have you ever had anyone bring up? No, 18 years of teaching has never come. Bullshit. In another state. No. I heard this saying, shout out to that nigga DJ Ghost. He said, this is not their first time doing it. This is the first time these bitches got caught. To put that into consideration, this is the first time they got, it's the first time they got caught doing it. Now they saying they never did it before. You did. You just never got caught doing it. You feel me? Shout out oh, to that nigga Ghost. No I have no history at all. So would you be surprised if other children came forward? Yes. The same way? Yes. So what were the control issues today? Like, what was going on with that? What do you mean the control issue? I thought you said she was trying to say something to you. Yeah, she was accusing me of doing stuff every day in fourth grade to her. You can tell from his body language that he's hiding something. At first, he, he, he was he was he's he knows he's fucked. He just he knows seems relaxed, and he then suddenly it. he shifted in his seat and got in a stiff, defensive posture. He knows he's fucked. There's no doubt. I don't know if you're familiar with DNA. Yeah. Is there any time that you were at the school that you didn't have to be, and you walked in or something to put evidence in the room that shows up? Yeah. That stuff isn't going to They got DNA. Your DNA doesn't lie, you fucking nigga. School. Stephen maintains that posture as he denies the allegations. What Stephen accidentally confessed to next might have been enough to put him behind bars. Well, I want to understand this up, but you're possible they don't right now. You have reading, you have being bad, you said under the desk. Well, under the desk wasn't necessarily a center, it's just kids ended up there at some point. How many kids? One of the places. Kids ended up under your desk. For fucking what? There should be no reason why a child should be underneath your desk. Is that they went as well as like under the computer table, as well as like under the computer table. Okay, because there's nobody over there and probably playing around. But under your desk is very specific, sir. You know, up front, wherever. How many kids can you fit under the desk at one time? Your desk. I don't know. It looks you like know, you know. I wouldn't say there's you could fit one into two. Yeah, I guess. You agree? Yeah, I guess. You don't recall ever taking the tools. Oh my god. These girls saying this happened. We have Miss Medina saying, Yes, we took them out of class. How would we account for that? I, I don't know how you'd account for that. 
So you're saying you don't remember that? No, I don't but, ever remember pulling anybody into them. You know exactly what French or Spanish or whatever wow. it was. At this point, he knew he was one confession away from spending the rest of his life in prison, so he right. asked for his lawyer. Would you consent to a... He, like, it was, it was it was smart to call for your lawyer, to get your arm rights and shit like that, but nigga, you did it and you know you did it, so stop the bullshit and, and just confess. Man, nigga. The DNA standard for us to compare to any potential evidence located in the desk. Personally, I would, yes, but I also think this is like, there's no answer and I, I can't piece it together either. So I'm thinking at this point, you know, I, I need a lawyer. I need to find out someone that can tell me and look at this for me, not... not Wait, a lawyer's going to tell you how fucked you are. That's it. Not nothing personal against you guys, but you're, you know, you're, if a little girl came to me and said these things, I'd be heartbroken and go with her too. Like, I'm not, I have no one... Stephen was found guilty of sexually assaulting two nine-year-old girls inside his class Hell yeah. classroom and was Don't sentenced talk. to three life sentences. Oh my god, yeah, you're fucked. You're fucked. Three life sentences, you're, you're done. You're done. The, 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 Give it up for the judge. He or she did their job correctly and gave him three consecutive life terms without the possibility of parole in prison. While the first two cases were a breeze for the cops, Josie Armand's case took a violent twist. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Stop. On May 22nd, 2021, 30-year-old Josie Amon was accused of groping a 10-year-old girl in a Wisconsin Walmart. But before anyone could stop him, Josie fled the store and ran out of sight. Thankfully, it's not that easy to escape the police, and this cop managed... It's not that easy to escape uh, put the police in a small town. On Alaska sounds like a really small town. Probably like a good 2K people in there. So it's not going to be that hard to find. Um, and plus the camera saw you in 75K running in your face. So it wasn't hard for the facial recognition technology in the police department to figure out who the fuck you was. They got your name, first, first name, last name, number, Date of birth, probably your SSM for your address, your license plate to your car, your license plate number to your car, or car, car, car. Managed to track him down. Does this the name Josie ring a bell? Yeah. Is, is he here? Yes. Okay. Uh, I got to talk to him. Hey, Josie. What's up, buddy? This is a little bit more uh, urgent for me, so I decided to just come down and talk to you here. In May, we got a complaint from a and a young girl at the Walmart in Alaska that involves you. Anything ring a bell to that? Okay. Everything you rings a bell to the fucking where, uh, You got chased out of the store? No. Josie kept on denying everything, but the cop had a trick up his sleeve. Before visiting Josie, the officer collected... On May 25th, an Alaskan officer reviewed video from the subway store inside the Walmart, inside of Walmart in which the suspect brought food about at about 2 p.m. and sat at the table. According to the complaint, he walked out the subway to the Walmart about 2.10. The subway provided a receipt of the transaction, but the receipt did not have the name for the debit card used to use. The complaint states, Alaska police has had a subpoena for records served on subway on October 28th to request the video debit card information. Oh, so they got your debit card information. Yeah, you pictures fuck. of him at Walmart and a receipt confirming a purchase that he made there. He had him dead to rights. Would you agree that this is you? It's you, bitch ass nigga. No. Okay. I look just like right you. Truck. You don't think that resembles you in the slightest? My God. The suspect of this whole thing was inside Subway, bought a sub sandwich, used your debit card. Wait, wait, wait. somebody used my debit card, you said? Well, you. In a Subway? Yep, on Alaska Walmart Subway. You still want to tell me you, you have no idea what I'm talking about? Exactly. <laughs> he knows. Okay. 
At this point, there's only one option for Josie to run. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. No, I would have. I would have had people in the back of the store waiting. A couple cops waiting just in case this shit would pop, would pop off. I would be like, um more backup just in case just, just in case suspect runs over. Dominic, you got taser. <laughs> Why is he running like that? Yo! He looks like he's set on something hot! Stop! He stopped! Why is he running like that? He's running like an, N an NPC. What the? Stop! You're going to jail! You're going to be punctured in your. Yeah! Luckily, Josie didn't get too far before he was tackled to the ground by the cops, and they made sure he regretted even choosing to run in the first place. Josie no was charged with first-degree sexual assault of a girl under the age of 13 and misdemeanor resisting an officer, and could face up to 60 years in prison. Everything happened Bro. extremely quickly for this guy, but in the case of Ryan Burton, the cops had spent weeks planning their attack and making sure he headed to jail for a long time. On July 6, 2021, an investigator pretended to be a 15 year old. According to the criminal complaint, a lacrosse police department investigator posed as a 15 year old girl on an anonymous social media platform and it attracted the attention of Burton July 6. During the next three hours, Burton allegedly sent the investigator an actually char explicit photo of a male and Italia continued to pursue the contact after being investigated. Investigator posted, but I want you to know I'm not 18 and later turned to be 15. Asked for a home address and agreed to meet later that day in the cross. <sighs> yeah, you're dumb. 15 year old girl on social media and Ryan Burton took the bait. He even went as far as asking for her address in La Crosse, Wisconsin. But when he arrived, he was greeted by police officers and not the young girl he was expecting. My name's Detective Ross, but I'm with La Crosse Police Department. Can you take your hands out of your pockets for me? Yeah. What's your What's your name, sir? Ryan. Ryan, okay. Any weapons with you today? No. Okay. If you just want to put your hands on top of your head, I'm just going to pat you down, make sure you got any weapons with you today. I'm here at the police department as well, sir. See our badge? Yes. Okay. Good dog. Okay. You like? Yeah. Put your hands on You're being arrested. You okay? Um, you have hurt, Brian? I'm good. Ryan was immediately arrested as the chat with the investigator was more than enough proof to take him in. However, they uh, now had to learn more about Burton by searching his car. Yeah, his diaries that? caught Domino. their attention. You won't believe what was written inside. Both therapists mentioned that I had nonverbal cues that I was uncomfortable when talking about what happened. After some reflection, I think this is because I've always felt like I'm a good person, I'm kind, but this has turned me into a You being nice and kind turned you into a pedo. That's like five, that's like five plus three equals 17. That shit don't add up. And that makes me very uncomfortable. Oh, why don't we just take that whole thing? Okay. At this point, Ryan's fate was not, sealed. Uh, yeah, they had the conversations hard. and the diary as proof, and the only thing that was left was to interrogate him. So Ryan, obviously you were here, um, you were taken into custody for a reason. I've got a, uh, an open investigation that investigates crimes against kids. Okay, you still have no idea why you're here? As long as you understand you know, you're you know, right, exactly I need your signature, you're here. and if you, want to, if you want to talk to me, and talk to me about why you're here, signature here. Okay. 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 Don't want to talk? No. Okay. You're going to be going to the county jail tonight. There'll be two charges. You're going One to of them is the use of a computer to facilitate a crime. Yeah, you're going to jail. And the second you're one is an attempted second you're going to jail. child. Okay. I'll respect your wishes and uh, we're going to get you out of here as soon as we can. Ryan decided to stay silent and has been charged with two offenses. The first one is the. <laughs> 
You stayed silent because you knew he was caught in 75k. Use of a computer to facilitate a child sex crime, and the second one is attempted second degree sexual assault of a child. If found guilty, he could face up to 60 years in prison. However, Burton was released on. And like I said, I've never been released. Burton was found on Sunday Shabana prohibits prohibits contact with his two biological children. That's great. Judge Todd Burge, I will not pronounce his last name, ruled that the family court could review the issue. No, I won't, I wouldn't. If that was if I was his ba his wife or his baby mother or his girlfriend or whatever the case may be, I would have kept the kids far, far away from him. Bond also permits the bond also permits Burton to have supervised contact with his stepchild and it limits his access to the internet. No Instagram, no Facebook, no Twitter, no Snapchat, no no TikTok, no nothing. You can't have a social media account to save your motherfucking life. On signature bond, which forbids contact with his biological children. The bond allows supervised contact with his stepchild and restricted internet access. You said age didn't matter. You were going to have oral s You were going to give him oral s you told him what straight up fuck? that you knew he was 13. This is the moment Timothy Kine, a 42-year-old realized he'd been caught. Timothy tried meeting up with a 13-year-old. I'm kind of excited. I ain't going to lie. Same here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting you. Me too. I'm glad we met here. We met on here. Me too. Very glad. What the old boy but unfortunately for him john was actually a decoy placed by the to catch a team and was run by a oh, team yeah. of experienced oh, yeah. catchers after just w. a week of online chats tim was lured in and taken down by the cops oh, yeah, yeah. after being apprehended he was brought into the police station where the interrogation mm -hmm. began mm -hmm. Tim, do you know why you're here yeah. those, those hold on those that body those uh sets of that side of body language the police station where the interrogation began. Tim, do you know why you're here? Yeah. Why did you come to Highland Heights tonight? Can you tell me? I was going to meet this this guy and just, you know, we were going to watch the movies and stuff. We just met online. I was actually going to be in the area anyways. And, yeah. Tim decides to play dumb and okay, acts yeah. as though he's got no idea he's done anything wrong. A classic first <laughs> move many make but somehow not as common as his next claim who was that person john i can't remember his last name how old was he i 18 i think i really don't know Bullshit. how'd you mean uh, on, online do you chat online yeah quite frequently of course, he says John was 18 years old, the legal age of consent in Kentucky where all this took place. This response is actually so common that lots of people actually treat it as an incriminating statement. If a 40-year-old is comfortable meeting up with and having with an 18-year-old, they're either lying about the kid's age or very likely also willing to meet up with someone that's 17 or younger. I have some chat logs where you all talked back and forth and I think that that person told you they were 13 in the chat I, log. I, don't, I wouldn't meet somebody 13 years old. Bullshit! Why are you so bullshit? You know, that's that's boys. That's too young. Yeah. They got Not all the chat logs on file saying saying that the boy was saying that the boy was um seven um 13. All the chat logs. You feel me? They got all the chat logs saying that you, that he was under that he was underage. So not only did John written. tell Tim he was thirteen, it was almost the very first thing. Like like the pic you got busy, yo no sorry sup thirteen I'm Sydney area, you cool, age sex language, I'm in Daytona I'm in the I'm. I'm in Daytona area. Oh, okay, sweet. I'm 35. Age difference, okay? Sure. Thing he said. Mm -hmm. And while Tim acknowledges here that 13 is too young, his messages contradict that as well, with him explicitly stating that he really doesn't care about the age. It's the wow. guy that he's interested in. Wow. Tell me a little bit about how you what are chatted with, was it John? You said? What are yeah. 
Hold on, y'all. My fault. Screen, screen recording difficulties, but we're back to our regularly scheduled programming. Let's get back into it. No, we just met and, you know, it just went from there. Did you have something in common? Um, just you shouldn't have a, you shouldn't have anything in common with a child, you pervert. Seem like a nice guy, you know. It doesn't take a genius to realize that Tim's keeping his answers as short and vague as possible here as a way to hide the true nature of his messages. Tim already knows he's in trouble and what he's likely in trouble for. His only play is to try and convince the detectives that he was there for a different purpose. Unfortunately for him though, the cops think they have everything they need to take him down. I read a little bit of the chat that you had in there You're were disgusting. some underlying issues of maybe homosexuality. Was that maybe the reason for your contact with John? Uh, could be, but if I mean, if he was, if he's, and if, don't you know, the take age, my... that's what you said. That's you know, that would never happen. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. So, but you were interested in him because he was, or maybe personality and so forth. Personality. Being friends. Many people have noted that them. the detective's comments here are besides the point of the interrogation. But there is the possibility that it was a question posed to trick Tim into incriminating himself. If Tim... You have nothing in common with a 13-year-old. A 13-year-old doesn't have anything in common with you. Why are you trying to be the 13-year-old for, for sexual intentions? And your sexual gratification. Tim was interested in John strictly because he was homosexual. That implies that his intentions with John were sexual. However, this does become a somewhat pointless argument when you realize the pair met on a website called gay.com. I get the feeling that, that sounds you think that we're trying to mess with you. That's That's not the case at all. We're here to find out what this situation was so that we can explain it. That's and without your help. That's the situation. I, you know, I mean, that's You, you understand me, though? So I, your I behalf. understand you. So You're I need fucked. you to come clean with me I'm, and tell you know, me what this was all about. That is exactly what it was about. You know, if I meet somebody, fine. You know, I mean, if it goes farther, that's cool. But it's not. You know, I mean, I'm looking, I'm I'm not looking for, boy. you know, I'm looking for friends. Yeah. Maybe a relationship. Be Tim and the minus. cops continue to talk about everything that's happened so far, with Tim explaining there was nothing inherently well, about the meetup, and he well, had shit. no idea the guy was 18. But as uh, the well, cops shit. start to repeat the same questions over and over, he starts to get visually uncomfortable. So the cops decide to ramp up the intensity to see if they can get him to crack. Tim, we got some problems here. Whenever you talk to John, uh, you, you told him straight up that you knew he was 13. I can't tell you how many times in this chat log that you tell him that you know he's 13. You talk about spring break. You ask him when, he's, wow. when his mom's leaving. You plan wow. on coming to stay. Hold on. I've listened to you, okay? okay? I'm going to lay it out for you because here it is. You were coming to stay all weekend, not just a day. You told him you were coming all weekend. You were going to have oral You were going to give him oral You ask him the first time that he if he had been caught by his mother. Wow. And whenever he told, whenever he asked you how old you were when you started, you said 13 or 14, and he said I was the same wow. age. And you said that you understood. So don't tell me that you don't know that he was 13 and that that wasn't your intention to come here and have with a 13 year old. She's basically saying, stop bullshitting with me and tell me the goddamn truth. That was not my intention. It was absolutely my intention, your intention, Tim. Don't fill me full of crap. I'm, I'm done with that What's game. That, bullshit? that game is over. Going on. Now, do we want to talk about what your intentions were here? Because I'm beginning to think you're a no. 
All the messages that the detectives are referring to are public so we can see exactly how disgusting they really are. Not only was he constantly telling John he liked him, wanted to date him, and would do wow. anything for him, they also talked explicitly about cuddling, making out, oral s and masturbation. And that's not even mentioning the fact that wow. Tim lied about his age and said countless other creepy and things. In court, it's possible an experienced legal team could argue that Tim misread John's age or completely missed it in the first place. His words back it. this up when he's explicitly said if he found out the kid was just 13, he wouldn't have engaged in any you knew. activity. You However, knew. many of his other messages carry the implication that he was fully aware that John was underage and that it was even his primary focus. If I would have wow. found out, if I would have known, then I knew and then I just didn't realize it. Because when I looked on the website, it had a date, like 1974, something like that. So that's the connection that I thought. Okay. You've already told me that everybody lies online. Why yeah, would you think you, that that's correct? Until you meet somebody and go. Until you yes. chatted with him and he told you he was, was 13 years old. You made a mistake. And you said that was great. That was fine. You did not have a problem with the age difference. A problem with I, yes. With I you talked to him about high school. You talked to him about girls at school and the, and the boys. <sighs> If there are any gay boys at his school, at his wow. high school. Yeah, we talked about a lot of things. In the past few minutes, Tim's He's stance done. has changed from a relaxed, open stance to a rigid, upright one. He's also crossed his arms in front of him and has his shoulders lifted. Both telltale signs that somebody is feeling very uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Tim also decides to take off his jacket, likely meaning he's very uncomfortable, and feels a subconscious need to reset the entire interaction. Lastly, his legs are crossed, and his feet are crossed and constantly moving around, implying a huge amount of anxiety, and a sub subconscious need to exit the interaction entirely. After almost an hour of interrogation, the police decide that they're not making any progress right now and decide to step out temporarily. This gives them a chance to drop their next move whilst also leaving the suspect alone, letting them stew and become more anxious about their current situation. After an hour of waiting, the detectives finally return. But you told me you already realized that this was a child. Tim, I, I would not have had like with a child. Cop, I'm sorry. Cop, Tim, you uh, talked to him about a, the Easter Bunny. Cop, no an Easter bullshit. basket. God, everybody, I got an Easter basket. You ask him if he still believed in the wow. Easter Bunny. Don't tell me you thought Come he was 18 I did not years ask old. Somebody, if they. You absolutely. Bro, stop lying. She got every mink of chat log there is absolutely asking no do you still believe in easter money oh yeah no oh yeah and it's in black Why? and white now come off of it any judge is gonna see that any jury is gonna right. see that and they're Absolute. gonna say this guy is absolutely a well he needs i guess to it's gonna have to go that far away you know it's gonna have to go that far then so is this the profile you saw <sighs> for john yeah. And can you show me where on here you thought that he was 18? 18. I can't. Because yeah, it's not in the it's never... Here it says he's yeah. 73. Yeah, but then on his... Yeah, I yeah, see that. It says he's 13. Let me look that. Which you also went Location. there. Location. See, Tim? See, see what that's this... where... No, you see what I this mean, looks like? Yeah, I see what it looks like. You're done. You're done. It's absolutely you know yes, it you know you're done. See, I made a mistake. You know, because I, I, no I, I made a mistake. You made a mistake. You I still knew. would not have worked for somebody because they were underage. I'm looking, you know, 18 would have been fine. He didn't have but a I car. But I made a mistake. He didn't have a car. He didn't have a driver's well, license. Well, he couldn't well. meet you somewhere because he was well, 13 years old. Well, I didn't put old. two and two together and you knew when he was that. 13 years old. You did. I did not. Yeah, yeah, you absolutely did. know that. I did not. I mean, that's... Stop the I did not know man. that. Despite Tim still not confessing or budging even an inch, the detectives still believe they have everything they need to bring him to justice. And that's exactly what happened. Timothy Kine was charged with a felony count of interstate travel wow. to engage in...
assault of a minor and was sentenced to 46 months in prison. I should have. I would have gave him 25 life sentences and let the and let the um and let the prison handle him and pr let the prisoners handle him. As well as 20 years of supervised release and a mark on his permanent record as a registered sex offender. That'll be the end of the video, y'all. Make sure you like.